So one of the things I've learned when working on a song is sometimes it's just going nowhere. <laughs> and it's time to, uh, to put it aside and work on something else and then come back to it, which is the beauty of having it uh, in this digital format. So this week uh, we're doing uh, The Switch. Um, it's not the name of the song, but uh, it's a cover song. And I've been working on this one anyway. But when I ran up against that uh, place with the march where I'm not quite sure where I want to take it, even though I know what I'd like to do, um, we'll just let it rest for a while, come back to it. That's the uh, advantage of working on multiple songs. So anyway, um, let's, uh, let's take a little bit of a listen to this and see what we have here. So it's kind of uh, kind of like an underscore because this is without vocals. And so one of the things I've been experimenting with is automation. And I've done automation before, but it's usually volume. But now I'm I'm automating things like pan. So for this track, I was automating a pan. You can see it moves around. Let me go ahead and hide that for now. Um, that's a nice thing, you can hide the envelope. So if I wanted to do volume and hit V, I've done no volume automation. But there's... But then there's, uh, there's pan. Okay, so what I've chosen is, of course, a, a piano. Piano bass. Beautiful sounds of the 88 ensemble. So that's where this started. Um, actually, went through several different versions. I've been working on this in one form or another since. Uh, late 2014. <laughs> it's kind of one of those projects that got uh, shoved aside and then uh, worked on some other things and finally we're coming full circle with this. So it's a collaboration project um, and I just thought well because I had a version of it that was really it was a little bit too fast. If you're wondering what it is you can go back and watch um, Oh, what do I call it? The, the stronger BTS videos. In fact, I think I'll put a link to those uh, either in the cards or in the the um, the end screen. Uh, so started with the piano, and interestingly enough, this was uh, um, when uh, our piano was out of tune. Actually, it's still out of tune here at home. But uh, I went to my uh, piano teacher's house, or former piano teacher, uh, and uh, I still refer to her affectionately as my piano teacher, even though I'm not taking lessons anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, recorded with um, not uh, a uh, a digital. Uh, I know what it is. I'm just having trouble spitting it out here for some reason. The uh, it was a, a workstation, keyboard workstation, and so I captured both audio and MIDI, and with the intention that I could bring the MIDI in once I got a piano virtual instrument and use it. And that time has come. So, so even though I've used it in different forms over time, this is my first time. Um, using the MIDI data and putting it through an instrument.
but it's really nice playing on 88 keys, and you can hear the other instruments I added. I added some organ. It's been a while since I've done that. Um, I think organ, the last time I used an organ was in the uh, Remember Me EP project I did. And uh, it was a song called, I think it was the Nevers. It was the piece. Uh, but I wasn't playing chords, so I decided... Originally with this, I had some guitar. If you go back and watch those earlier videos, you'll see that. Um, but I decided strings would be the way to go this time. And, and then the organ. It's basically playing the same chords as a piano, but... See, what do I have happening here? I have the Leslie working. Uh, so that added some, uh, some more texture to it. little fun with that there and then of course uh, upright bass you have to have one now this is an interesting thing that I learned if I arm the upright bass track we can play a little bit of it if I take away that notch that I put in there Got the idea. There's quite a bit of uh, high end on there. Notch it. Just takes a little bit of the slap out, especially especially when I'm working working down, and that's when it was annoying to have that. At least in this context, we want it out and kind of creates more room, have, helps it sit out of the way in the mix. Um, and then I have two string ensembles. I have the little one. Oh, 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 eh. I have the little one. I have the big one. And that is audio because of the uh, same reason I've been having with uh, running the, uh, the demo sounds from um, from uh, Contact, um, the orchestral essential demo sounds. They time out in about 30 minutes, and usually by that time you've done some tweaks, maybe it's 15 minutes, I, I don't know exactly, but they quit working and then all of a sudden you you have to um, close contact and then open it again. Uh, it's just a real hassle, so I rendered it out to audio so we can have that. I'm considering using this instrument a little bit. And... In fact, I have used it a little bit, but I want to... You can see it has a fairly limited range. I would pronounce the name, but I'm not quite sure how to do it. 
I, I w if somebody knows how to pronounce this, that would be helpful. I would have said du duduk, but that's eh. or da da da. It, it's eh. I have a feeling it's it's either um, it's like a Persian instrument or something. Uh, I should look it up, and then I know for sure. Um, so I have that, and. Uh, <laughs> So that's running through Replica because I like it better than the standard um, thing here in Contact. So, hmm. This is hard because I'm trying to talk about this without saying too much, which is always difficult. Okay, so I'm just going to go through play I'll just play the beginning part of it again um, I'm gonna go ahead and mute this and then I'll just play along with it a little bit Probably just saw the automation go to work there. Well, that's all the time we have, and that was improv. You will not hear that version. You will not hear that version anywhere else except this video. <laughs> uh, but I look forward to sharing more as we get further along with this, and uh, then eventually the release of the project. And uh, we'll uh, 
It's going to be good, I think. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.